Ho, ho, ho. Isn't that what you think of when you hear the word Kringle? Of course you think Chris Kringle because that's what the whole world thinks. However, in Racine, when you hear the word Kringle, nobody thinks of Santa Claus. Nope. Not once, not twice. Oh no, there's something entirely different. And in this video, I'm going to let you know not only what Kringle is and where it is, why it's important to Racine, but also how you can get one for yourself. Make sure you stick around to the end. All right, let's jump into this. So first of all, Kringle, well, Kringle's not about Chris Kringle at all. Kringle is actually a type of pastry, I guess is the best way to, just say, to say it. I mean, it actually is pastry for sure. But let's see, let's take a look at some of this. So what is Kringle? Well, here it is. Kringle is actually, in the United States, it's a hand-rolled um, Danish pastry from dough that's been rested overnight, and it has, before it's been shaped, filled, baked, etc. However, in different parts of the U.S., it means different things, and it seems very a lot. In some areas where you'll find Kringle, you'll actually find that it's a savory food, but not here in Racine. And you'll sometimes find a lot of the other areas, it is shaped in the same uh, the shape of a pretzel, but again, not here in Racine because that's not how it goes. So what it is, however, it's many flakes of pastry. So how shall I explain this? So many sheets of the flaky dough, they're layered and then they're shaped into an oval. And after they're filled with the fruit, nut or other flavors, the pastry is baked and iced. Now it, the many sheets, the way, best comparison, I think I could say is like a puff pastry. In that it's like, you know, those thousands and thousands of light, fluffy, like not fluffy, but light buttery layers. Um, and it is a rested overnight kind of thing because you have to make the dough ahead of time and you have to rest it. And then the next morning you can actually bake. Now, obviously there's a time limit to that. And I'm sure that the local places have figured out ways to do this without actually having to rest it overnight. Because I know that in Racine, if you want to Kringle, you can get a fresh one at about six in the morning um, over at o and and Benson's and Lehrman's and all the different um, places in Racine that you can get it. So you can get a fresh made one that day, which means they're baking them overnight, which means they're probably starting the process the, the day before. But anyway, that's kind of what it is. And let's talk about it a little bit more. So Racine, Wisconsin, why is it so important? Well, because in the early 1900s, we had a lot of Danish people come to this area. And they settled in this area prior to World War II. And when they did that, they started bringing some of their traditions with them. The most important thing that they brought here and the thing that has survived the best is not really necessarily any of their architecture, but it's mostly their bakeries because it's been almost a hundred years for some of the bakeries that have been running in the Racine area making Pringle. And so it's actually the center of Pringle making. So if you ask anybody, this is where it's at. So let's talk about what that is. Um, it's a Racine Kringle is made is a large flat oval. It measures about 14 inches this long and by about 10 inches. And it weighs um, about one and a half pounds. Now, when I say 14 by 10, realize that it's also like that flat. So it's 14 by 10 by like one, maybe. If you're lucky, I mean, that's really all it's intended to be. So this is what we're talking about. This is Kringle. So why is it so important? Well, first of all, there's a lot of fierce competition. We have three bakeries here in Racine. And if you're from the Racine area, I know, I know that you have your favorite. So go ahead and put it in the comments right now. I want to see in the comments right away. But see, here's the thing. I'm, I'm live with you right now watching the comments. So I want to see, put them in the comments, which is your favorite. Is it, um, Lehrman's? Is it Benson's? Or is it o &H? I'm waiting. Put your comments in. All right. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, so these are absolutely delicious. And when we say that they're filled with nut, it's more like, think of it like a pecan pie where a pecan has that like gooey thing or other nuts that they want to put in. But pecans are probably the most popular one. Um, the Kringle actually became the official state pastry of Wisconsin in 2013. So this was, 
this is not just, I mean, it is a Racine thing, but it's now you can find it in any grocery store in Racine. And most of the bakeries here that are the major ones, definitely O&H and some of the others, will actually ship Pringle to anywhere in the States, um, if that's what you want. And so here are our three major bakeries. You can see there's O&H up top there, um, right up, wrong hand, right up here. There's O&H, and, and then you've got Layman's down here, and then you've got um, Benson's right over in the corner there. And Benson's, it says, since 1934. So we know for sure. O&H doesn't have... Um, we know that O&H was Olson and... But we haven't been able to find out what the and is. We don't know what the H is for. Um, but they are the largest, I would say. Um, there's debate, of course, as to whether they are the best or not. But they are def o and H is definitely the largest. And in fact, they've been doing some expanding recently. And... This is their newest store, so it's like pretty awesome looking. It's it's beautiful inside. If you ever come to Racine, if you're not a resident here and you want to check out just a beautiful bakery layout, this is this is it. It's right on Highway 20 in Mount Pleasant, um, which is, if you don't know, of course, Mount Pleasant is part of the Racine area. And it's right on Highway 20, which is a major route into Racine. They have a huge like model of a Danish ship, which is their sign, and it's usually kind of um but here's the best part about this whole video i did tell you to stick around to the end because what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to give away a kringle now the kringle you're going to get is going to be from ONH, but i will actually let you even pick the flavor if you've not had one before or if you actually know what your favorite flavor is because you've had one before and ONH, i will depending on if you are local to racine then I will just send you the coupon so that you can pick it up yourself, put it under your name, and you just tell me what date that you want it picked up, and I'll make sure it's there and ready for you. Um, if it is not, I will, then if you're not in Racine, then I will have it shipped to you. So either way, you are good. And you can get yourself a free King Kringle, but here's how you got to do it. So if you want a free Kringle, you got to put in the comment below, number one, what's your favorite Kringle store? And number two, what's your favorite Kringle favor flavor? Ooh, that was hard to say. Uh, but what's your favorite Kringle flavor, if you know? If you don't know, take a guess. Base it on pie fillings or desserts or other Danish pastries you may have had. Because, of course, they have cheese. Um, that's what red, white, and blue is actually. I think it's cherries, blueberries, and cream cheese, which is like that cheesy Danish pastry filling you can get sometimes. Um, and we have the red, white, and blue. You've got pecan. You've got all. I mean, honestly, oh, if you win, I will send you the list. But if you already know what your favorite flavor is, you need to put a comment below saying what it is. And and if you are the winner, I will contact you. And I will make sure to reach out in a message and say, hey, I need you to send me a message to this email so that I can get your details and we can have a conversation. So good luck guys on winning your free, first free Kringle and um, yeah hopefully you enjoy but now you know a little bit more about Racine or maybe you know less about Racine or maybe you just have a strong opinion and think why is she talking about Kringle because I want everybody in the world to know that Racine is an awesome place and Kringle is just one of the many 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 reasons that we love living in Racine Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.